Yo, what's up, fellas? Say hi to my little friends over here. All right. Oh, there's one behind the filter. Two over here. One under the rock. Oh, just came out. Look at that, huh? You guys are always requesting a fish tank update, a fish tank update. And you know what? I don't really want to bring one on the main channel, so I decided to shoot a, a quick video for you guys, right? On my 10 gallon fish tank update, okay? Although I would like to emphasize things are not going to stay like this for too long. I have three tanks in this household a 10 gallon, a 20 gallon, and a 55 gallon. You guys used to see the 55 gallon tank videos right on my YouTube channel back in the days when I didn't really know how to take care of fish, right? So anyways, this tank just for starters, right? You guys can see I clean two sides of the tank right over here. These two sides are clean and then these two sides are kind of dirty, right? I like to keep this tank as natural as possible because I run different experiments in this fish tank so I just let the algae grow naturally on the two sides of the tank here and these two sides I clean it for my viewing pleasure originally this was a native fish fish tank I run a series of experiments on these fellas right here you guys see there's two of them right here on the left right this one over here is a swallowtail shiner the notropis procne and this one right here I collected when he was very very little like less than an inch or about an inch right and it turned out to be an eastern black nose dace the Hinictis atratulus there's this one on top over here at a certain point in this fish tank I used to have eight or nine of these okay that is a brown bowhead the Ameurus nebulosus and since then I gave all his brothers and sisters away to some of my neighbors right there in other fish tanks right now bigger fish tanks so I mean summarizing my 10 gallon fish tank is really like a temporary kind of deal where I run all kinds of different experiments right all the rocks pieces of wood gravel that you see they all came from the local creek so I really try to mimic a natural creek environment it is a healthy environment in here. There's uh, moss growing on the rocks. The algae is pretty controlled and good. Sometimes I have blooms of hydras on these two sides of the glass. So it's all good. And just recently, this is the update, right? You guys see I added two more specimens to the tank. One of them is right over here. This is a Jack Dempsey. And as it turns out, it is a female jack dempsey cichlid right and the other one which is under the rock right now i don't know if it is going to come out oh, look it's showing its head right now that is a convict cichlid a male convict cichlid i added these two just yesterday i had a red breast sunfish in here only until a few days ago the lepomis auditus i moved that one to the 55 gallon tank because you know the sunfish was trying to eat my <laughs> my little fish right and you know I placed these two invasives here in this tank yesterday to really try to uh, run this experiment right of natives versus invasive species to kind of see the reaction right how they would react to one another and what would happen and since yesterday they, they they're pretty new in this tank and since yesterday the brown bowhead has already been chased out of its natural environment under that rock right by the convict cichlid back there <laughs> and most importantly the water temperature in this tank is 76 to 78 Fahrenheit at the moment it is my understanding man that this male convict cichlid right here is really trying to enter a spawning mode came into this tank yesterday it started to dig a hole right under this rock right here been moving rocks ever since you know I think the male convict cichlid is really trying to impress the female Jack Dempsey right here you know kind of letting the female know right I'm, a, I'm creating a nice nest down there maybe you should come with me right and uh, get some action so the future plan for this fish tank the original experiment was to see how the natives would react to the invasives and you know if they would bicker with one another right but right now I really think the cichlids are going to start the spawning with one another if that does happen I am going to move all these three fish to different tanks 
I know 10 gallon tank is a little bit small for a pair of breeding cichlids but you know what I gotta run the experiment and see if they will be able to spawn naturally in this tank if it happens right and you know that would be a very interesting combination of uh, hybrids right between a Jack Dempsey and a convict cichlid which in the aquarium trade folks say it is pretty ugly <laughs> you know but I, I could give I don't really care about that right I just want to run the experiment here and see if this is actually possible to happen I hope you guys enjoyed this little update on the 10 gallon fish tank maybe I'll bring you guys an update on the 20 gallon and the 55 gallon later okay and uh, stay tuned alright I'm posting this on the second channel as you guys can see this is the channel where you know I just post whatever I want right when I feel like it so I hope you guys enjoyed it say bye to my friends I haven't named them yet Jack Jack Dempsey right here convict cichlid okay Eastern Black Nose Day Swallowtail Shiner and the brown bowhead just chilling behind the filter. Tie lines and take it easy, folks.